vibration. You got to make a vibration. Let's all try it together. Vibration. You got to make a vibration. That sounds great. Funky be like this. Vibration. My name is Meredith Thompson Knight, and um, my twin sister Chris and I perform folk music together as Chris and Meredith Thompson. And we are uh, also we also have developed and perform a program called Sound Science. Sound travels because air vibrates and it moves other air that's around it. So sound travels in a wave. And then different instruments basically make different sounds by vibrating air in different ways, either by a string, by a drum head, or by actually using a column of air. So that's the program in, in, a, in a nutshell. But really, there's, there's a lot more to it. And there's so much, it's so much fun to see the different ways that you can actually make sounds and to see fun and unique instruments. We need everybody to get out the instruments that they brought with them. Y'all brought your instruments, right? Right. Uh, yes, yeah, sure you did. Get out It's basically for kids and young kids, and people really love to listen to music and hear music, but sometimes we don't always understand how sound is made and how instruments work. There's one demonstration we do at the beginning of the program where we have everyone take their hand and put it on their chest and breathe in and out. And what, what's happening, you can feel your hand vibrate on your chest, and that's, we use that to demonstrate that you vibrate air to make a sound. It's a little tricky because you can't see sound, you can't see air, so you have to use models and demonstrations to try to understand how it works. The research that I've seen and the books that I've read about science education talk about having people internalize and interact and understand the information that, they're, um, that you're trying to communicate. And if the more that you can get people to understand the information in their own words and in their own ideas rather than just kind of acting as if uh, you could just tell somebody something and they'll understand it. The more you have people interact and move and try out different things, the more likely it is that they're really gonna understand it and really internalize it. You all need to pretend that you're trumpet players and you know the one thing you need to know to be a beginning trumpet player? You need to know how to do this. Everybody put your hand in front of your mouth a little bit so you don't spit everywhere. But you need to know how to do this. One of the songs is called No Matter How You Twist It, It's Still a Horn and it starts out Although it may seem that the player is humming into a large mass of brass-plated plumbing, the twists and the turns on the tubas and trombones cannot confuse or lose the tone. No matter how you twist it, it's still a horn. Lucky for us, sound can go around corners. Sound waves can find their ways through any twisty, turny maze. Molecules hopping and bopping around, making waves and making sound. Ready, twist. Um, we want it to be fun. It's we want people to learn, but we also want them to have a good time. So they'll come back and learn more. Right. If you want to play your trombone, you can play.